Okay, so here we have another um, grid nav question. Uh, I'm going to talk you through it the way that I found easiest after weeks of trying to get my head around this. I've worked out that this is the easiest way for me um, and probably the quickest as well. So what you're going to need is your scrap tractor, your compass and a pen and that is all. Um, I prefer to use lined paper which I'll explain why in a second. Um, if you're doing a lot of these it's probably the quickest way to go about it. Um, just it, it helps which I'll explain in a second. Okay so the first thing you want to do is place your square protractor on your paper. I'd suggest lining it up with the lines of the paper and placing a dot in the center. If you don't have a hole in the center of your square protractor just put a cross um, on the paper before you put it down and obviously overlay it on top. And also mark a line where north is. Okay so you should now have two dots on your pieces of paper. Next thing to do is take your compass, put it on the center dot and just draw a circle around it, like, like so. Okay, so the question states that uh, route is flowing from 80 south uh, 100 west to 80 south 140 east at 160 west, the grid track and true track on a polar stereographic chart with a grid orientated on the 180 meridian are respectively. Okay, so what we want to do firstly is mark on our meridian and our anti meridian. Um, this is the most important bit. If you get this bit right, the rest of it is relatively easy, but this is pretty much the only thing you've got to remember. If you're in the southern hemisphere, which is we know because it says that point A is at 80 south, the meridian is furthest away from you and the anti-meridian is closest to you. If you're in the northern hemisphere they're the opposite. So we're in the southern hemisphere so I'll mark on the meridian first which will be the line from the centre dot to the top of the paper. I'm going to mark that as a solid line which is the meridian and the anti-meridian I'm going to mark as a dotted line just so we know the difference between the two. Like so. Like I said, we know this is the south southern hemisphere, so this point here represents the south pole, which I'll also mark on there. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is mark on our east and our west. Now these always stay the same regardless of the hemisphere, so our east is always on the right, and our west is always on the left, like so. And I'll also mark on our grid north. Okay. I've got east west, those must be correct. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is mark on our 100 west and our 140 east. These are, all, these are always measured from the meridian, not the anti meridian, the meridian. Okay, so 100 west is 100 degrees from this line here, and 140 east is 140 degrees east from that line there. So, what I'll do is just line that up with the center dot, measure 100 degrees around to 100 degrees west and then mark a line from the south pole here passing through that line and extend that out as far as possible and I'll just mark that on there so we know that that angle is 100 degrees west okay and the same on the eastern side which we know is 140 degrees east again square protractor there down to 140 which is there and again, through the South Pole, through that point. And again, as far as possible. Again, I'm going to mark that on. So we know that that angle is 140 degrees east. Okay. It says that 160 degrees west. It wants to know the, true tra uh, the grid track and the true track. So what we will also do is at 160 degrees west, like it says in the question, we will mark on that line. So again, the centre dot on the western side, measured from the meridian, we'll go 160 degrees, which takes us to there. Again, mark another line from the south pole through that point and out as far as possible. Okay, so this one here on the left, which is 100 degrees west, we will mark as A, as it says in the question. And we'll put a dot at the point at which that line intercepts the circle. And this point over here, 
which is a oh, bit of an error there. Forty. Again, we'll put another dot here. The point, the line intercepts the circle, and we'll call that B. Okay. What we now want to do is put a straight line, either with a ruler or your square protractor, through those two points, like so. Maybe extend it out a little bit, like that. like that. Okay, so we've got our 100 degrees west, 140 degrees east, and this line here represents the 160 degrees west, which is where it wants us to measure the angle, and the grid track, and the tree track. Sorry. Okay, so what we'll do now is put a dot at that point where those two, those two lines now intercept, and this is where we want to place our square protractor. Okay, so our protractor is there, and what you want to do is firstly, in fact, if you leave your square protractor there, and this is why using line paper becomes in handy, because all these lines also represent grid north. So that dot, line it up with the nearest line or the parallel of the center, central meridian and anti-meridian, and simply read off this figure here which as you'll see is 290 degrees and that is 290 degrees grid because it is 290 degrees off our grid north which is here okay so that is our grid track that answers the first part of the question and as you'll see actually from the question there's all the answers there's only one answer that starts with 290 degrees grid so you already know the answer so the second answer is basically just reassuring you in that so what we'll do now is to get the to get the true track is we'll rotate this so that it's running in line with the 160 which it is there okay so we've got that running in line with the 160 west and again read off this figure here which now says 270 which is our true track and as simple as that you've got your 290 grid and your 270 true which is the answer which is B and it is as simple as that. Okay.